Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> you may not recognize me, right? I have a new hat. I have a new shirt. Every five or six years, I buy 13 shirts. And they are made for me in Hong Kong. I've been doing that for the past 50 years. And it's about time now, at least my wife thinks so, that I should get a new set of 13 shirts. This is the first one that arrived. They always send one first to make sure that we still agree on the size. And then I say, yes, it's fine. And then the other 12 come a month later or so. New hat, new shirt. But way more important, my wife gave me a very nice present. She gave me a new necklace. And I'm wearing that necklace. The red necklace weighs 15 pounds. <laughs> it's very heavy, it's wood. A 15 pound necklace. Who on earth has a 15 pound necklace. I probably am the only one. Now the problem. We have an imaginary planet which is in all respects like our Earth except it has no atmosphere. We will all use this as the mass Normally we use 6 times 10 to the 24 kilograms for the Earth. This time I give you a number which is a little bit more precise. Because I also want your final answers with three digit precision. We will take an average radius of the Earth. Normally I use 6400 kilometers, but now I will be a little bit more precise. 6.37 thousand kilometers. And we will all use for the gravitational constant 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11. That's in mks units, meter, kilogram, seconds. We throw up or probably use a gun, some kind of a fancy gun. We shoot an object which has a mass of 100 kilograms up with a speed of 9,000 meters per second, 9 kilometers per second. And we do that at an angle of 30 degrees with our vertical. If you stand here on the Earth, this is your vertical. And this angle is 30 degrees. That's the speed. And now come the two questions. What is the largest distance between that mass M and the center of the Earth? And when it reaches that maximum distance, what will then be its speed? So question one, what is the largest distance to the center of mass? And when that happens, what then is the speed? I agree, it's a high school problem, but you have to do a little bit of thinking. I don't want to help you very much, because that would make it too easy. But I give you one hint. You probably first solved this problem in terms of the symbols, and then you put in the numbers you put in. M, R, G, and you put in 9,000 meters per second. If you use this M, R, G, and you put in not 9,000 meters per second, but 11.2 kilometers per second, to be more precise, 11.18 kilometers per second, that is the escape velocity from the surface of the Earth. So that means that distance 
that the object then reaches must be infinitely large and the speed will then be zero. So I suggest in your solution that you test that. We call that the consistency check. If you put in the 11.18 kilometers per second and you do not find that the distance becomes infinitely large and that the speed becomes very really close to zero, then your solution is wrong. That's as far as I'm willing to go to help you. Okay? Take care. Have a nice day. And of course, now that I'm wearing my new clothes, of course I want to be friends with you. Of course.